Minecraft secret hacks and tricks that Mojang don't want you to know, but are 100% real. Watch until the end before this video gets deleted. Okay, what's blowing my mind today? Hide one and we have a trap door. Oh, everybody knows you can use a trap door to get into a one block space. That ain't a secret. Wait, you're gonna try and fit under a slab. Yeah, nah, mate, that ain't happening. The smallest area you can fit under is a one block space to build like really awesome one block secret bases. And now he's trying to fit through with honey. What in the world is height 0.7? Okay, bro, this isn't going to... <gasps> what? How did he do that? Wait, what? The only difference was the ground was snow, but how does that make a difference? Okay, bro, you definitely aren't fitting through that. That's like at the tiniest hole ever with 0.7. Bro, again, no. It is a miracle you fat through under that slab. You're not going through here. What? That has to be clickbait. That's literally a clickbait thumbnail. No way that works. You can build the smallest secret bases this world has ever seen. Literally no one would ever find them. Now, I'm sure most of you have already seen if you place a trapdoor, open it, stand underneath the trapdoor and close it on your head, you will switch into the crawling animation and be able to fit through one block spaces. We can take it to the next level. All we're going to need to do is build a little doorway here. And this time we're going to place a slab there. This tidy little space, my player model literally cannot go through there, but apparently with snow we can. So let's give it a go. We're going to break out those three blocks, put down our snow, and then we still need to use a trap door place that there into the crawling animation and yeah it ain't working guys look at this i am trying to go forward look i can go backwards but i cannot go under the slab this, this has, has to, to be, be clickbait. clickbait unless it's not there's actually two more types of snow maybe the type of snow matters top snow and our powder snow let's go ahead and place that down and then we're going to crush ourselves in there and okay that ain't gonna work we just start sinking into the powdered snow and getting hypothermia Nope, not today. And the final thing, I suppose, is this powdered snow here. So let's go ahead and stack that all the way up to the top. This bee has come to see whether it's really true or maybe he thinks this is a bee doorway. <laughs> I mean, it is small enough. So let's go ahead, stack all the way up to the top. And then now we use our trap door. Three, two, one, down we go. And yo, what? It actually does work. But for some reason, you have to use powdered snow instead of the regular snow block. That is incredible, which means it might actually work. We can fit through a tiny little space here, guys. For this, they used a grindstone on the side and then an upside down stone stairs. And apparently, we're going to fit through that minuscule area. This is this is just ridiculous. I, I no way this actually works. Ba -ba 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 Bam. And let's see if this works. All right, down goes the trap door. Open it up. Close it down. Okay, we're in the crawling animation now. He fit right through the center. You've got to be kidding You've got to be kidding me. No way. What? My body literally just turned into a mouse to fit through that square. What? If this was real life, I would have broken about 60 bones. I, I'm just... Bruh. Okay, everyone right now, you need to build a secret base using that. Nobody is ever going to find that. A Minecraft epic moment. One pixel can save you? Wait, what? What is this on about? Wait, no. Is this what I think it is? No, bro, yo, that pixel ain't saving you from anything. If you jump, your legs are broken. Okay, literally right now, his ankles are shattered. He is going to die. There is no hope. <gasps> what? He didn't even take one heart of damage. No way can this one itsy bitsy pixel save you from certain death. Now, basically, they placed two chests on the corner here so this little pixel can sneak its head out. But if I'm falling to my death here, guys, the rest of my body is literally still hitting the ground. Literally not any of my body is touching that pixel. I reckon they turn a fall damage or something. There's no way this actually works. But you know what? I'll shut up till it's proven. So let's go ahead and we'll just, you know, put our chest going up into the sky. Maybe, okay, we'll go maybe 50 blocks up. Okay, that should do it, guys. That is certain death normally. And then we'll do the same thing over here. All right. And then look up into the sky. Slash the stack 50. Bang. All right. Look at that, guys. We're going to go all the way up here. Now, normally, th this there's no way anybody would ever survive this fall in Minecraft. Or at least they would take some pretty decent damage. Let's give this a go. All right. I, I hope I die. I never thought I would say that, but here I am. All right. Ready, guys? And fall. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. You've got to be kidding. You've got to be, be kidding, kidding me. me. Everything I knew about Minecraft is wrong. What? Bro, that is an awesome secret. Why is that a thing? I don't know, but I love it. Ooh, an automatic light. All right, I'm hyped. What do we got? We got some stone bricks, spruce trap doors, spruce fences, stone brick walls, and then a campfire. Nice touch, a daylight sensor, and then... Wait, what? Did he just change the color of the daylight sensor? What does that do? And why isn't that redstone lamp activated anymore? I don't understand. <gasps> it turned on during the night. 
He turned it into a nighttime sensor. How did I never know you could do that with daylight sensors? Unless you can't. And that was actually a mod. But I really hope it's not because it's going to make automatic lights so much easier to make. So let's go ahead, put down our stone bricks. We're going to surround this in spruce trap doors like so. Go ahead and activate each of those. Then they had one stone brick wall, two spruce fences, another stone brick wall, and a spruce slab on top. Already this two-tone color design is mwah, really nice. We're going to place a campfire here and then you can use a shovel of any type to put that campfire out. That's really nice having the log design. And next, what makes this all tick, the daylight sensor. Then we're going to jump down to the bottom here, guys, and you want to crouch. And while crouching, place your redstone lamp underneath. Now, normally, during the day, the daylight sensor detects the day and outputs a redstone signal so you can see it's activated but we want it to be activated at the night apparently we can just click on this daylight sensor and it'll change it to a nighttime sensor let's give it a go three two one Oh my goodness, it's legit! Yo! And it changes like to this dark blue because obviously it's testing for night and the redstone lamp turns off. That is so dope, I can't believe it. Now we can add some spruce buttons on the outside just to decorate it. So hopefully if we switch the time to midnight, this should turn on. Yo! I love that. I'm going to be building this lantern design all over my world. Weird clutches that cancel out fall damage. All right, what do we got? Sand? Oh yeah, I've seen this one. That works. Don't know why, but it does. Next up, we've got a mushroom. What? How does that work? Okay, the fire one works by giving you damage just before you hit the ground, and it's the same with the cactus one here. It cancels out the fall damage. Do you want to play Minecraft with me and be in videos? Then just click the join button below this video next to my profile to become an EY fan. When you click join, you will unlock access to play Minecraft with me on my EY fan only server. On my server, you can be in videos or play Skyblock Survival Creator Mode or PvP with me. And you can join the server on any device, including phones, tablets, consoles, and computers. Plus, you will unlock secret videos and live streams that you won't see unless you join as an EY fan. You also get a shiny EY fan only badge next to your YouTube name when you leave comments and get all these rare EY stream emojis to use. But do do you want even more? If you click join and scroll down, you can choose to be an EY mega fan to get a shout out at the end of a video, talk with me on my VIP Discord, and unlock the ability to watch my videos before they get released. So click the join button below this video to become an EY fan and play Minecraft with me. All of those MLG clutches are really hard to pull off, but I know all of them work except for one. The mushroom one. Like, how does growing a mushroom into your face stop you from dying? Honestly, I feel like that would just make the impact way more painful. But uh, let's try it out, guys. I've got that mushroom test dummy down below. We've got our bone meal. We're going to switch into survival mode and see if this works. Are you ready? Three, two, one, jump. Uh, bang. Wait. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I took suffocation damage because the mushroom literally like made me lose all of my breath but I still lived. I was only on one heart but I lived. I mean in the video they didn't take any damage. I feel like if you got better at it you could avoid the suffocation damage but it works. This is how I'm going to MLG from now on guys. I'm just gonna grow mushrooms all over my friend's house and they're gonna be so annoyed. I'm ready for another secret. Hit me. What do we got? Something to do with beehives? Okay we shared the beehive here to grab ourselves some honeycomb. Now we're coming over to this one and we're using a glass bottle to harvest honey from it. How exactly is this a secret again? These are just normal beehive features. You can get honey and honeycomb from them. I'm so confused what what is going on here okay we're heading over to the crafting table now and we got ourselves okay honeycomb up at the top then an empty glass bottle in the center and honey bottles on the sides what is that royal jelly i feel like i've heard that before this might actually be a feature now we're feeding it to one of the bees and what's going on <gasps> what a queen bee that's a real feature in minecraft no way that thing is crazy that's terrifying, but I love it. The first thing I noticed was they were using Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So I switched over just in case it was like an exclusive mob to this version or something. Now, if you were doing this in survival like they were, you could shear your beehive to grab yourself some honeycomb and use empty bottles to collect honey. But since we're creative, we're not going to waste time with that. I just want to test out this crafting recipe. So let's put down our crafting table. Now we got our honeycomb up at the top. We got honey bottles on all sides here, guys. And then we got our empty bottle in the center. And look at that, guys. We have ourselves the royal jelly bottle, which now if we grab this out and grab ourselves a bee, all we had to do, at least in that video, was feed one of these bees some of the royal jelly, and this will turn them into a queen bee, just like in real life how they feed bees the royal jelly. All right, let's give this a go. Three, two, one, feed him. Did he eat it? I can't tell whether he ate it. Okay, I feel like he did not eat it. 
Eat, eat the royal jelly. Okay, in the video, the bee looked pretty small. Maybe it has to be a baby bee. Okay, there's a baby bee. Let's feed the baby bee a royal jelly bottle. There we go. Oh, wait, that did something. I can hear a sound going. Guys, what's going on? Oh, look at that, the queen bee. This is such an awesome mob. Yo, I love that. That looks so cool. If only this was actually in Minecraft. Yep. They clickbaited us, guys. They clickbaited us. Ah! I was so mad when I saw this video because I don't know if you noticed when I was reacting to it. I was like, wait a minute. I thought I've seen Royal Jelly before. And that's because I've literally done a video on this queen bee before. It's not actually real. It's an add-on that you can add. It's super easy to download and I highly recommend it. But what you actually have to do is come to your world menu, click this little pencil icon, and they've gone down to behavior packs and in active, they've activated this queen bee add-on behavior, which you can download from MCPDL. Now, I had clickbait, guys, and I just have to expose clickbait as much as we can so we can put an end to clickbait on the internet. So guys, if you're on my side and you like me exposing clickbait, make sure to subscribe. But let's move on to some secrets that are actually real. Drowned are real. Rarely ever seen out of yeah, the water. Yeah, because they're ocean which is why mobs. Most players don't know this. Okay, but no what? Drowned are the only mob in the game whose hostility is time based. Wait, when what? out of the water, drowned are completely peaceful during the day. No, that can't be true. Drowned are just water zombies, and let me tell you, zombies still come and attack you during the day. They are not peaceful whatsoever. And you expect me to believe that suddenly, because this guy's been in a little bit of water, he's not gonna attack me? He's literally holding a trident here. Okay, well, this is a little awkward. Maybe I should test this under a cover here so they don't burn to death, guys. Uh, let's uh, build this out. Okay, I'm so sorry, Mr. Drowned. This is a hard thing to test because the minute drown, you know, get out of the water during the day, they start burning. Alright, so there he is. He's under some cover. He, and he left the... You are dumb. You are really, you are really, really dumb. Okay, let's spawn in another one here, guys. We're gonna switch into survival mode. Alright, attack me. He's just walking away. What? No, surely not. Bro, I'm literally right here. Hello? What if I hit him? I'm literally hit him and he doesn't care. He literally can't attack me. I'm literally touching him and he's not even setting me on fire. What? Bro, I can't believe it. Drowned are actually neutral. They won't attack you during the day while they're on land. Nobody knows that. Nobody knows what. Okay, we've got ourselves a smithing table, putting in some lodestone and some cut copper. That ain't gonna do anything, my friend. We're switching him around and... <gasps> what? You can craft command blocks in survival mode now? I mean, I've never tried it because cut copper and lodestone are both new blocks. And now we're combining with chains to make a chain command block. That actually makes sense though. This could work and then put chains in, add repeaters, and it gives you a repeating command block. Yo, I never thought about that. That makes sense. What? Down goes our smithing table, normally only used to turn diamond gear into netherite gear, but apparently we put in some cut copper, lodestone, and check that out! Command blocks, guys, in survival mode. Let's now try the uh, command blocks here with chains. Chain command blocks, boom. And then now we'll try again, guys, command blocks and redstone repeaters. Repeating command blocks! Yo, this is so cool! If it was real. Guys, why in the world would they add the ability to craft command blocks in survival mode if while you're in survival mode, you literally can't even place command blocks? Look at this. I'm clicking and, and no command block is placing that. You can only place and use them in creative mode. They don't work in survival whatsoever. It ain't real. They clickbaited us and I just needed to expose them to show you how easy it is to be clickbaited on the internet, guys. What they were using is changing the code of Minecraft to add in a new crafting recipe and they used a data pack. If you type in slash data pack and we're going to disable it, the file slash craft underscore command blocks dot zip. Now it won't work and we're back to normal Minecraft. Oh my goodness. I just hate clickbait, guys. I want actually working acts on the internet, but luckily Luckily, one by one, we are exposing them and putting an end to clickbait on the internet. Now, guys, for our next working hack, we actually don't have any more time left in this video, so you're gonna have to watch the next video. I'll see you there. Till then, anyways, you're out. Bye.